So, instead of having a ton of doors for every level, wouldn't it be more convenient to have a better system for it? In this tutorial, I will teach you level switching in Godot. Hey, John here. So we are in our Godot editor. Before we start, I need to introduce a couple of things to you. We have level 1 and 2. They are the children of level base. What means they have the same tree structure and the code that they will inherit from the level base. It is quite useful because the levels basically have the same functionality. They will all have doors, players and they will have the same script that handles all of the stuff happening directly to the level. Also, in the level we have paid animation player that right now contains the fade in animation that will be played when the player reached the door and then switch to the next level. And we also have the player, it just moves around. Also we have the door PNG that will be used as a texture for the door and door particles that I just want to apply for the door because I like them. So without further ado, create the door, make it area 2D, rename it to the door, Add sprite and collision shape to it, set the collision shape, add the particles and save the scene. Attach the script for the door. Here create a variable that will store the path to the next level. And now we need to create a method that will be called when the player reaches the door. In order to do that, go to the node tab of the door and in signals connect body entered signal. It will automatically create a new method associated with the signal and here write the next lines. Checking whether the next level is not an empty string and if it's not, change the scene to the next level. So we basically have the needed functionality, but let's think how it would handle the collision. Right now we only have the player and the door. They are placed in the same collision layers. But what if we also had an enemy that could interact with the door? Do you want to forward to the next level when the enemy touched the door? Of course not. So in order to do that, first can change collision layers and second we can use groups for it. I would personally prefer using collision layers, but it's a topic to discuss for some other video. I'm going to stick to the groups. Go to the player scene, in the node tab, in the groups, add the player to the player group. Come back to the door script and here add the condition that checks whether the body interacted is in the group player. Now let's come back to the level base, add the door to it and in the level 1 and level 2 place the door somewhere. Don't forget to set up the next level variable for each of them. For the level 1, the next level will be level 2. On the level 2, I'm going to set the next level to level 1. And let's check what we've got. Works absolutely fine as you can see. However, currently the scene is changed immediately when the player collides with the door. But what if we want to make some cutscene be played when the player touches the door and then change the scene? For instance, as I said, this fade animation player must play the fade-in animation after the player reached the door. How can we make that? Actually quite simply. Go to the door script. It will emit a signal that the player has reached the door. And Godot actually have the system of signals. Create a signal that's called player reach door and it will also pass move to level variable visit. It will contain the path to the next level scene. And in on door body entered, instead of the get change scene, write emit signal player reach door and pass next level as an argument with it. It does no longer change the scene directly but it emits the signal that the player has reached the door and that's what we need. We can connect 
our new signal of the door to the level by script. Here, as I said, the fade in animation is played, wait until the fade animation is finished and then we change the scene. By the way, here we also use signals. Basically, we wait until fade animation player emits animation finish signal. And signals are quite a big thing. So now let's check what we've got. Boom! As you can see, when the player reaches the door, the fade animation is played and we change to the next scene what we wanted. So that's it. I hope the video was helpful and you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ives and until next time.